Hey there, everybody. It's me, your buddy Dave from the darkstuff.com and the Dark Stuff channel here on YouTube. I'm reporting to you live here from the bunker in Omaha, Nebraska. Folks, I just got a huge concert announcement. I already knew about the show, but this, this is an add on, big announcement, and I wanted to talk to you about it. And um, I have a proposal, perhaps. So as I've been mapping out the videos for the next couple of months that I'm working on, uh, some long form, some short form, you know, some stuff just about concerts and whatnot, I made up a list of all the concerts I want to go to. Now, as I've talked about here in Nebraska, when it gets wintertime, the, the concert opportunities kind of dry up, and usually stuff doesn't really start going until March. But this year, major exception, in February is a really hot month. Now, the reason why I wanted to pop on and do a quick video is because of the show on February 17th, which is Matthew Sweet at The Waiting Room. Now, I was already going to go. I've seen Matthew Sweet a bunch of times. I saw him back in the 90s, and then I've seen him a couple of times uh, more recently since like 2016, because rumor has it, he lives here in Omaha. Now, I know he's a Nebraska native and stuff, but I heard many, many years ago, it was almost, almost 10 years ago, that he moved back and he was living in Omaha and built a studio here and all that. Now, I say supposedly because I've never actually seen him. I've never seen him at a show. I've never seen him at a record store. I've never seen him at a grocery store. I've never seen him at Target, whatever. I don't know. Now, that's not conclusive in and of itself, but I'm just saying I need a little bit more conclusive proof that he does actually live here. And until he's sitting next to me here in the bunker doing an interview, or maybe he invites me over to the studio, whatever, we could do it over there. Um, I'm okay with it. Um, then I'll know for sure that he does live here. Because I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not 100%. I saw him at 2016 at the Maha Music Festival, and his backup band on that one was uh, the guys from Velvet Crush. Seventeen, I saw him at the waiting room. Also, he had Jason Victor, who plays with the uh, Dream Syndicate on guitar, and Tommy Keen, the late Tommy Keen, was the opener, and he did come up on stage and do a song with them. And that was the one time I got to see Tommy Keen perform under his own name. I did see him play guitar with Paul Westerberg in the 90s, but uh, those were the only two times that I got to see him. And then I saw Matthew Sweet again in 2019 at this thing called the Shadow Ridge Music Festival, which is kind of weird. It's like a, the festival took place at a, at a country club, like way out in West Omaha and really rich part of, of the city. And uh, But that year I went because it had Matthew Sweet, it had Soul Asylum, it had uh, uh, Violent Femmes, so it was decent, but it is just a weird sort of setting. So now what makes this particular Matthew Sweet show distinct among all the other times that I've seen him is that in this case, Debbie Peterson of the Bangles is going to be his drummer on this tour. What? Anyone who watches this channel knows how much of a, a fan of the Bangles I am and knows that I figure out ways to incorporate them into my videos quite often. Well, now I don't have to stretch it at all. So um, I've got the, the Debbie Peterson from the Bangles will be playing at the waiting room on February 17th as the drummer for uh, Matthew Sweet. Now, I have, uh, as you know, I've never seen the Bangles. They're on my bucket list, but I did... I did get to see Vicki Peterson and meet her when she played with this group called the Psycho Sisters, which was her and this other woman and a drummer. And anyways, I, I barely remember what was going on at the show, but I do remember she did two sets and in between uh, she hung out people and talked and signed records and stuff like that. I got this record signed. You can see there's Vicky's autograph on there. And I also got my copy of Everything signed, but that is on the wall. So I am intending on bringing this and everything and maybe some others, who knows, uh, to the show so that I can meet Debbie Peterson and get those signed. I'm, I'm just, I'm manifesting that right now. I'm just letting you know. So Matthew Sweet and the Bangles have a huge, very long history going all the way back to the 90s when her, him and Susanna Hoffs first started like working together. First it was that sort of fake group Ming T from the Austin Powers movies where there was like a when he went back to the 60s and he was it was a psychedelic band Mike Myers was in it but it was like Matthew Sweet and Susanna Hoffs were, were that band and then they started calling themselves Sid and Susie and they were doing 
stuff, and that turned into the Under the Covers series, the Matthew Sweet and Susanna Hoffs records, which are fucking awesome. I mean, they're so good. Volume 1 is the 60s, Volume 2 is the 70s, Volume 3 is the 80s. I was kind of hoping they'd, they'd do some more. Matthew Sweet worked with the whole band, the Bangles, on this album, Sweetheart of the Sun, which as of now, it's, it's from 2011, is their final album. They haven't done another album since then, and it's not looking like they're going to. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm fingers crossed that they will do another album at some point, but I, I honestly don't know. But yeah, this whole thing is pretty exciting. I mean, Matthew Sweet is great, and like I said, I was going to go regardless. Um, I don't have a ton of his stuff on vinyl, but I do have this one here, Sunshine Lies. I've also got this sort of alternate version of Girlfriend, which by holding up, it just changes the white balance on my camera. So note to self, don't do that again. And I've got about 10 of his CDs in the back. I, I w that wasn't the kind of video I was planning on doing, so I didn't grab them all. But his music has meant a lot to me over the years, and I am a big fan of it. So I, earlier today, I was listening to his most recent album, Cat's Paw, which is uh, from 2021. I really love the artwork with the black cat on it, because I do, of course, have a fondness for black cats. I do have two of my own. What's up, bro? What, bro? What's up, bro? Take a swing, bro. Right here, bro. Okay, well, I'm not going to go on and on and on about this. I just wanted to basically, basically make this announcement. And the proposition I had was that if anyone in the Midwest, and this is only a Midwest tour, if you want to come into Omaha for that show, it's a Saturday night, February 17th. It's my birthday week. If you're part of the vinyl community, if you're a fan of the dark stuff, and you actually do travel and, and you I let me know in advance, um, I'll get you into the show. Don't worry about it. I can help you in that regard, okay? So anyways, this is going to be a hell of a show, and if you are interested in taking me up on my offer, you know, email me privately or whatever, and we can chit-chat about it. But other than that, if you are in one of those other cities, I mean, you don't have to road trip, but I mean, you definitely want to hit this, and I'm just like over the moon, because this will be two bangles that I can hopefully get signed those records, uh, and then, uh, then it's just Susanna. She's the only one left, folks. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. So, uh, you have a MySpace page or something?